a Dear Media original podcast. Hi, welcome to Good Instincts. I'm Shira Barlow, but you may know me as the food therapist. Join me every Monday through Friday for bite-sized episodes designed to help you close the gap between where you are right now and where you want to go. This should feel good, like really good. And it will, I promise. So today is a shit I'm loving episode and let's just jump right in. So first things first, anyone that knows me knows I love sweet green. I'm obsessed with sweet green. I have been for years and years and years. In fact, a long time ago, if you like ordered enough salads, you got like black status. And I think that they would like throw you your own party. And I was like, maybe one salad away. Anyways, I'm very into it. I think it's very high quality. I really enjoy it. They have something new on the menu that I think is special. And it is the Chipotle chicken burrito bowl. So it has beans and it has chicken and this amazing dressing. It has has a lot of rice for my taste. This is what I did. I subbed romaine for the rice and I kept the beans and then I added avocado. And then next time I might add portobello mushrooms. I think their portobello mushrooms are amazing. This is an amazing meal. The dressing they did a really good job with. There's no added sweetener. They're very good about that in general with a lot of their dressings and they're very transparent about all their ingredients, which I really appreciate. So I don't know. I think this is a really good option. You know what? They're not even calling it a salad. They're calling it a bowl. So if you like these types of flavors, maybe check it out. I'm such a custom person and I have my go-to custom sweet green, but I am going to be on a plane tomorrow. So I think today I'm going to go and run and get two. I'm going to get my regular custom. Then I'm going to get this one that I just said. And I think I'll maybe have this one for the plane because it's a little heartier and it will hold me over and I'll have the custom tonight. Another thing, and we have talked about this before, but I think it bears repeating, is that my friend Holly turned me on to having like a regular nice fork in my car because I do find that a lot of times I'll pick up a salad and then I'm running around to places. And I don't know, sometimes I kind of enjoy eating the sweet cream in my car. I don't know if that sounds sad, but it's really not. It feels kind of like fun and decadent in a way. Anyways, I do feel like having the silverware actually makes a difference. It makes me feel like a human being, which I really appreciate. And the other thing is that we have Easter upon us. And a lot of times parents ask me about Easter candy. The thing is, is that like I try really hard to balance between someone who like is really crunchy and cleans my house with vinegar and really avoids chemicals. And then also not being that person who like makes it hard for my kid to like go to a birthday party or, you know, freaks out that my kid is having some type of gross candy on like a big holiday. And that's what was given out at school or a birthday party. So I try really hard to balance the two because I do find that I land somewhere in between those things, even though I do lean on the more crunchier side. It's been an evolution. And we've talked about this when Oliver was really, really young. I was really kind of rigid about the kinds of things that I wanted him to eat and felt comfortable with him eating. And then as he got older, it was just kind of like so hard to control, especially because he would like lick like Pringles crumbs off the floor of the park. And now he goes to birthday parties and they have celebrations at school. And it's better for me emotionally and mentally to not feel like I have to control everything. But I do control what comes in my house. And I feel pretty strongly about that. And there are some things that I really try very hard to not have at home. And I'm going to tell you some of those things now. But I do want to preface this with he has had candy with these things in them. When we go trick-or-treating or, you know, he's gone Easter egg hunting in different places. I'm not telling him that he can't have like regular M&Ms. They are not something that I would buy for my home, but he does have occasionally when he's out and about. So I wanted to just be super transparent about that. So the first thing that I really try and avoid is corn syrup. It's a very highly processed sweetener and it's made from GMO corn. And it's something that I really don't 
have in the house. And another thing is artificial colors. These are super cheaply made ingredients and they are often from petroleum derived ingredients and have been known to be associated with hyperactivity in kids. It's something that I don't have in my house. And another thing is the artificial flavors. These are often petroleum derived and they can hide a mix of solvents and preservatives. And another biggie is vanillin. It's another very cheap artificial vanilla flavor derived from wood and again, petrochemicals. So those are biggies for me. And again, I'm not saying that Oliver has never had candy with these in them, but it is something that I don't like to have in my house. So here are some candy that I do actually think is amazing and I do buy for him. The first is Yum Earth. I'm obsessed with this brand because they don't have artificial sweeteners or corn syrup or artificial colors. And they have all different types of candy. They have jelly beans, and lollipops and gummy bears, which are Oliver's favorite. And I think they'd go great in any Easter basket or like Easter egg hunt. And I just think it's a really great option. I also love the company Unreal. They do these really nice peanut butter cups, which is a great option for kids without nut allergies. But they also have these amazing M&M dupes, but they are not made with artificial colors. Everyone who's ever tried them that I know says that they're amazing, if not better than the original. So I just really appreciate that. And I appreciate when companies are coming out with like good quality products that don't make us feel like we're depriving our kids of these like cute childhood experiences and they're just like higher quality things. The last product that I'm mentioning today feels a little sad mom car, but I don't know. I feel really passionate about it because for the first years of Oliver's life, I literally just let my car get gross and it had crumbs everywhere and stuff everywhere. And it kind of lent itself to feeling like I didn't have a ton of self-respect for myself or my car. And so since then, I have tried to have my car be nicer. And this thing that I'm very obsessed with is this handheld vacuum for your car. So I've been keeping it in there in the trunk and I like try and just go through it once a week. And it just like makes me feel better about my car and it makes me feel better about myself. So I will link that in the episode description these are the things that I've been loving. I would love to hear if there were any things that you're loving. I love hearing from you. You can always find me in the DMs on Instagram at Shira underscore RD. Tomorrow is a really special episode for me because it is our 100th episode. And we're going to be looking back at some of the best nuggets so far. It's kind of like a good instincts cliff notes. Thank you so much for listening and being here. It really does mean the world to me. And I'll see you there. Thank you so much for listening to Good Instincts, hosted and written by me, Shira Barlow. You can find me on Instagram at Shira underscore RD. Good Instincts is a Dear Media Daily, 